and some of the uh, some of the information I'm going to give you may surprise you just a little bit. So first of all, the first question is: Is global warming increasing the frequency of hurricanes? Well, look out the back door over the past 15 years, and boy, have we seen quite a few of them. A lot of tropical storms and hurricanes brushing our coast or directly hitting us as minor hurricanes, barely category one hurricanes. So we've seen quite a bit here over the last 15 years, and so has the Atlantic Ocean. When you look across the entire Atlantic from 1970 to 1994, we averaged 10 named storms, six of those becoming hurricanes, two of them becoming intense. In the last 15 years, since 1995, look at how the numbers have jumped up here. We've averaged 15 named storms, eight of them becoming hurricanes, and double the amount of major hurricanes, which are category three or higher. So you look at that, and you can obviously sit there and say, well, there's no question about it. Global warming is causing an increase in hurricanes. Well, the Atlantic Ocean is only responsible for about 10% of all the tropical storms and hurricanes that occur. The Pacific Ocean has a whopping 60% of all the tropical storms and hurricanes, and the Indian Ocean about 28%. So you really have to look globally. When you look globally, take a look at the numbers. They're basically unchanged. So based on that alone, since we're talking global tropical storms and hurricanes, you can't come to the conclusion that global warming we know the globe is warming. That's not being debated. It's, again, how long it's going to last and who's doing it. Uh, there seems to be no question that you can't say that global warming is causing an increase in the number of tropical storms and hurricanes, because they 